a Queensland police anti-fraud unit has itself been labelled a significant fraud risk by the Crime and Corruption Commission. Project Synergy was set up to raise public awareness of fraud and cybercrime. But the state's corruption watchdog has exposed excessive and questionable spending. Anna McDonald reports. Fiscal, the fraud-fighting ferret, is the friendly mascot created by the fraud and cybercrime group's Project Synergy. G'day, folks. It's Fiscal, the fraud-fighting ferret here. The $50,000 initiative teaches children to be careful when withdrawing cash at ATMs. Who signed off on paying for the ferret? Are we suggesting that children in primary school are going to be the victims of financial frauds? I would hardly think so. An investigation by the Crime and Corruption Commission exposed big spending on some questionable merchandise. The fiscal uh, logo was promoted on uh, beer uh, coolers and wine coolers and things that kids would never be involved with uh, appropriately, so it's a bit hard to see the connection. More concerning to investigators, the facilitation of conferences. The project runs on a self-funded basis, raising money through symposiums and selling sponsorships to private companies. What we've seen here is a kind of a, a grading, um, you know, the more you paid, the more you got type model. The Triple C found the cost of those conferences blew out from $16,000 in 2007 to $260,000 in 2014. The symposiums made hundreds of thousands of dollars in profits, but it's unclear how some of that money's been spent. A lack of record keeping, uh, a lack of attention to the uh, correct way the sponsorships should have been dealt with, leading to a real risk of uh, corruption. While no one was named in the report, the investigation looked at the senior officers in charge of the project. It was established under the leadership of Brian Hay, who took temporary leave from Queensland Police last year. He is now a manager at a private cyber security company. That company is one of several that have sponsored the fraud group. You must have a police service that is seen as independent and uh, you can't afford to have perceptions, perceptions of anything else. Queensland Police says it's already taken steps to address some governance issues identified by the Triple C and maintains there was no evidence of criminal activity. The Police Minister has refused to comment. Anna McDonald, ABC News, Brisbane.